Okay, so this is a topic number three of week six, which is a continue to talk about hybrid organo. And here we are compound that we are dealing with is, uh, can you see this? This is called a butadiene. So buta means there are four carbons. Di means two. In means double bonds. Okay, carbon, carbon, double bonds. So this is a compound with two double bonds. I hope you guys can see this one here. And so this is a 4 carbon and 6H, and this is how the structure looks like in organic chemist draw. So here I want to make sure that these are the four carbons that are showing up here. And each one has an sp2 hybrid orbital, and there's a one uh, p orbital sticking out. And so here I'm going to draw the pi. To represent the pi orbital, this is a p orbital with a, a 3 sigma bonding for each one is sp2 hybridization. What that means is you have a p orbital left over, and that's the one that I'm, I'm showing up here. And p orbital has an up and down uh, polarity, so it's a, I'm going to even make sure you have these things that are showing up. And so this is another one. That's the another one. Okay, so this is all the p orbitals that in addition to sp, sp2 hybridization. And it was said that carbon-carbon uh, double bond lengths are 134 picometers, and that's expected. But if you look at the carbon-carbon bond in the middle, which is uh, between carbon three and carbon carbon two and carbon three, okay, so let me make it even like a red color, so to be consistent, you see the carbon two and the carbon three, which is carbon two is right here and carbon 3 is right here. So it's a carbon 2, which is a carbon 3. This is a single bond, right? This is a single bond. And this single bond has a length of 157 picometer. And picometer, by the way, it is a 10 to the minus 12 meter, which is a very small length scale. But uh, which is a shorter than the normal, quote unquote, normal single bond. So they didn't say, but uh, 154 na uh, picometer, that is a length for the typical normal carbon-carbon. So it is a smaller, shorter than the uh, regular single-single bond. Okay, so let's try to uh, answer this question one by one. So what kind of hybrid orbital do each carbons, the older carbons use in this molecule? And then they, uh, all of them in sp2 hybrid. Okay, all of them. Okay, I mean c1, c2, c3, c4, all of them. Between which pairs of carbon atoms do we expect to find the sideways overlap? This is a nice way of saying it. Or p orbital. Do you know what we call? This is exactly the graphical representation of pi bond formation. In addition to sigma bonding, we are called the pi bonding. And then they call it pi tie PP overlap. So as you shown up here, the additional bonding here, this is a, uh, I guess in addition to the, this is, let's say this is a sigma, and then I'm going to be consistent with the color. This is a pi bonding, right? There are two pi bonding shown up here, which is a side way of interaction, right? There's an electron cloud overlap, and just looks at that. If you look at many textbooks, this, this is how pi overlap and looks like. They are, they are like these two p orbitals and then they are kind of form this cloud on, on, on both sides of sideway overlaps. Okay, so between which pairs? I guess so between, between C1 and C2 and between C3 and C4, okay? So those are the uh, pi orbital. And then let me switch the colors to purple and answer your part, A and B, explain why center carbon-carbon bond, which is uh, between C2 and C3, why this length is what they saw, 147 uh, picometer, which is smaller than 154 picometer for normal single bond. So what that means is this is a not a single 
uh, bond is single plus there's an extra like a pi pi overlaps and if you look at the top uh, between here there is a weak sideways between this pi pi cloud okay. this is a, like a, although it didn't show as a double bond uh, and this is a one that has a secondary uh, pi pi cloud overlap okay so this is a p p uh, overlap i guess a secondary secondary overlap and so based on uh, shorter than this so my answer is uh, it has a this one has okay if you want to draw this this one although it's mainly formed a uh, pi pi overlap with c1 and c2 and c4 okay, that's a mainly but they has a weekly some partial overlap okay so it has a so between so in words between c2 and c3 uh, mainly sigma bonding character but with some pi bonding characters okay, okay so that's what uh, you will you will see here okay. later they they're going to talk to you about something a little bit more uh, different types of approaches to explain the energy diagram of the butadiene so butadiene which is a four carbon based two double bond so um, two double bond two pi bonds but between the C2 and C3 there is a, not just a single bond character there is a partial overlap uh, between uh, pi pi on the sideways. Okay. Thank you for your attention.